What's happening everybody? This is on Sean with On Beat Entertainment. And today I'm doing a tutorial in Logic Pro X and I'm going to show you how to time stretch your MIDI notes. Usually when we're talking about time stretching anything it has to do with audio regions. Uh, but you can time stretch MIDI as well, very easy. But first let's just go ahead and I'm going to play this very very simple 8 bar loop that I have lined up for this tutorial. So first things first, uh, the easiest way to time stretch MIDI is let me just get this, uh, this second region out of whoops, second region out of the way here, and is just in the same way that you time stretch audio, I can do the same thing with MIDI. I come down here to the bottom right corner and then hold Option and click drag, and when I do that, it just time stretched everything. It kept the same distance in between the notes relative to the length of the sample and everything. So now we have. Okay, we can, we can go the other way with it. And of course, needless to say, no loss in audio quality. This is just MIDI notes being triggered here, so audio isn't even um, being altered whatsoever. So that's what we got there. So that's the easiest way to do it. I'll put everything back to how we had it. But now we can go in and have a little bit more flexibility with that by using time handles. And time handles is a little bit different. So, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to select both of these. And now we're, we've got them showing down here in the editor. Just make sure your editor thing is turned on here. Um, and now what we can do is with all these notes down here, we can come and right and, and click on functions, come down to time handles. And now it looks like nothing happened, right? To me, um, th there should be something like a little T that pops up. Maybe your cursor changes to a T or something like that, but some should show something as to that the fact that time handles it is on i don't know why it doesn't but um, but one quick way that you can tell is if you try to highlight anything by clicking and dragging you see these little blue things up at the top there those are the time handles all right so um, if that's doing that when you click drag then you know time handles is on and so i can go in here and confirm yes the check mark it is on but just like this there's nothing on this screen anywhere that's showing me that time handles is on so just uh, keep that in mind <clears throat> um, so now with it on uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to select everything here whoops not that everything um here we go now I've got um, everything here in my little time handle clutches and I can take this now and grab the time handles and I can move them anywhere I want. I can make them this small. Now that they all collapsed at the end of the region there, I forgot about that. They're not gonna they're not gonna jump regions. If I wanted to have them jump regions like that, um, then I can just select both of the, the regions and command J to join them. So now let's try that again. Move that all the way over in here. You can collapse it even further if you want. And I'm not holding option or command or anything. I'm just grabbing the, um, the time handle. And you can see that the cursor changes into the time stretch. And the same thing as I come over here and click option and hold this bottom right corner. Same thing. Um, so collapsed even smaller. If I wanted to, I can even take the beginning and drag it past the end, thereby reversing it. And then take the end and pull that over to here. So that's just a way to make your MIDI turn elastic, basically turn, turn your MIDI into water so you can do anything and, and twist it up any way that you want, move it around. I didn't realize I didn't have that one there. Um, but, um, but anyway, uh, a quick way to uh, time stretch your MIDI notes. 
So now, if you would, before you go, please click the thumbs up button for me down below. In addition, I'd certainly appreciate your support. And all you have to do for that is hit the red subscribe below. That's it. Please leave me a comment while you're at it. I do read all of them, whether it's a follow-up question or maybe it's a different way that you like to do things or just something that you want to add to the conversation. Whatever it is, I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on places like Twitter and Instagram. I am at OnSeanBeat. And all my social media links are in the description below. So hopefully I'll see you there too. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.